Hello, greetings to you all. You are welcome to my channel today. Today I am going to be talking on conversion of old UPS machine to an inverter. It mustn't be old, it can as well be a new UPS machine. So these are the components here. I am going to show you, especially right now that we know that things are very expensive. You can stay in your comfort, comforts of your home with little or no experience and get all these things done. You know, this is very easy. I can assure you that one can easily achieve this. So today I will use this very UPS machine to show you how to go about it. So using it already, let me remove the casing so I can use it very well. Okay, this is a 650 VA, that is 650 watts UPS machine. This is the, uh, you, you can see it's still dirty. It's not that I cannot clean, but I just want to, to observe that this is an old UPS machine. And then there is the electronics part of it. There is the board, and this is the transformer. And here you see the compartment for the embedded battery it came with so i will show you this is the two terminals that are supposed to be connected to the battery so i will show you there's a positive and this is the negative so what you need to do here is very simple just extend a wire to the negative and this battery out here the aim is for it to be able to be connected to an external battery so and this is the transformer what this transformer does it is a a transformer that has 12 volts and 220 volts it's with the help of this circuit inverts 200 i mean it inverts 12 volts to 220 volts ac from dc it inverts from DC to AC so that you can power your appliances, gadgets in the house. What are the appliances and the gadgets we are talking about? You can talk about your lightning point, especially now we know that we have LEDs as bulbs and energy efficient appliances now that consumes less. So you won't tell me that because you have been able to. Uh, convert this to an inverter and you go and plug your boilers and it will burn this so what you need is energy efficient appliances like your bulbs television and what's not fans as well can be connected because this is 650 va your fan may consume about 140 watts why this is 650 so I will show you the main wall. Okay, this has already been this has already been constructed. So here is a power cord that you must plug to AC directly to the AC for it to power this and charge the, the battery when eventually connected. So I am going to show you this is the connected extended one already so you use 10 mm a thicker wire so that it can charge the battery so you can see that i have a battery head here terminal connected to this i attach it to this so that with this you can now connect it to the battery here so these are the connection you can see how it is so the same transformer 12 volts to 20 volts here so it, the with the combination of these two, the circuit and the transformer will invert to 12 volts to 220 volts. So this is the output source, you see it. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to connect it to the light source for us to see how it works. Okay, so I will plug direct to the main source right now. So it's plugged right now. So let me. Um, uh, obviously, let me connect the bulb. Uh, 
the right. In the pouch puts. Okay, let me now. If, if you put it on now, it will it come on because you are connecting direct to the light source. But let me now connect the battery part of it so that you see how it goes. Okay, so I'll connect positive to positive and connect negative to negative of this battery. So this is now connected in two places. I, I, it's connected to the light source and connected to the to the AC source and the battery. So that is DC direct current. So this is on right now. I will now remove the AC source and this light will still maintain. Hmm? So okay, let me remove. This is a light source. It's still up. That will show you that the battery is now powering this. You will hear the alarm. And one thing I will advise us here is that for us not to be disturbed about this alarm, you will disconnect the alarm since you are going to be using it. This alarm is showing you that it's no more connected to the AC. So I will disconnect one of the terminal from the battery. It will show you that this is connected. This is the 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 battery powering this, this will go off. You can see that, you can observe that. So I will connect it back and I will have to put it on again for it to come on. It comes on. You know the starting point, as in the transfer time of inverter, is different from transfer time of UPS. Transfer time of UPS is always slower, but inverter transfers so fast. Yes, this is what we have here. So it takes time to transfer. That is the two difference between an in inverter and the UPS. And here we have a battery here, the battery that is not uh, the one that comes with this very UPS. This particular battery is 60 ampere hours. So it will last longer to compare to the one that we have here. That's the aim of extending the wire so that you have a, a better battery. But the difference between these two things is that the UPS may not be able to charge faster. It may not be able to give you fast charging to compare to ordinary, ordinary, this, um, ordinary um, in the battery. So it's slower it may not charge faster but at the end of the day it's still going to give you exactly what you want um i will disconnect it again I will, okay it's disconnected already let me connect it but once i connect the alarm goes off showing you that it has drop power you see it it has it goes off and then um, let me disconnect again I will disconnect it again. The alarm will come on again. It comes on, showing that you are now powering from the battery. Disconnect the head of the battery. It goes off. I connect it back and reset it. It comes on. You see the time? Uh -huh. So I will want to believe that you must have learned one or two things with this uh, few points and um, I want to urge you guys to uh, subscribe to my channel keep watching more of these things will come your way thank you for watching